uh, functions, uh, what functions exactly are. Basically, the basic part of the functions was what we looked at last time. And I'm continuing further on uh, at the point where it stopped. Okay, so let me just juggle my uh, presentations. I am on too many uh, presentations here, so just on here. Problem with hangout is it is have too many options out here. Okay, I found it. So we are looking at a program here. Okay, uh, it is a program, um, basic program. But you will see that once you type out this program and you execute the program, you get an error. You get a compiler error saying that. Uh, identifier at this is the exact error which will be produced here add identifier not found now the reason is the compiler reads your file sequentially okay uh, line by line so when it reaches the function called to add see if you see your program is starting with main and we have a c out and we are calling add now when when it encounters an add there has been no add mentioned previously in the previous part of the program so my compiler says what this ad exactly is. What the heck is it? Okay, so he is not really aware of this ad as a function because ad has been defined later. Okay, so how do we get rid of this? So we have uh, so what do we do is we have something called as forward declaration. So if you're planning to define your functions later after main, you can do it till but the, I, I, either way you can do, you can even define your function before main or after main. But if you're defining it after main, defining, okay, you have to at least declare it in the beginning before main. So you're basically telling the compiler that, look, there is something called as add of this type, this name, this return type, this argument, and you will find the definition somewhere later. So that is called forward declaration. We will see how we do it. So we do is what we do is we write a declaration statement which is known as a function prototype. What is a function prototype? It is a declaration of a function that includes the name, the parameters, and the return type, but not the implementation. So the implementation is coming later on, and in the beginning, I'm just providing the prototype like this. So I before main, I just it's like an introduction to the function. So you're telling the compiler, just look out for some person called as add, which may be coming in later. So it's like you're telling your secretary that, OK, if there's some person who's going to come and who's going to look something like this. Uh, this is how it, uh, that particular person appears, looks wise and dress wise and all that, so that the secretary is aware that she has to wait for this particular person. So you're telling the compiler that, look, this, there would be some add function of this type, OK, with a return type int, with these two int arguments. Okay, and so if you encounter a call for an add function with two int parameters, don't pro, don't give it as an error. Just try to look out for the definition somewhere below. So which it will find, it will look out, it will not give you an error and try to find it out. So it finds it and it matches and it does the corresponding calculation and the program works perfectly. So this is called forward declaration. So if you're defining the function somewhere later, down in the program, you have to tell your compiler boss, somebody, some function is going to be used in my program, and this is how it will be appearing. Okay, So that's a function prototype. So a prototype includes the name, the parameters, and the return type. But the implementation, the actual body, what you're supposed to do is coming in later. So this is one thing that you have to remember is you'll have a semicolon here since this terminates, this statement terminates. Whereas when you're de defining the function, you don't have a semicolon. Semicolon is always to indicate the end of the statement. 
Whereas in this case, this is not the end. Instead, there are certain set of statements which are following uh, this block, which are part of this block. So to indicate that, we have blocks. So functions always have blocks like this, the function definitions, the function implementations. Whereas declarations always end right there. So that is the difference. A declaration is just an introduction, whereas a proper definition of the function will have total function, including the declaration and the implementation block. So there are some predict errors problems here, which will make things clear, because we always understand very nicely when we know what kind of errors come up. OK, so you have a program here. Uh, 3 plus 4 plus 5, and you're calling add with these three parameters. And uh, this is the function defined, and we have a forward declaration also. But still, there is some error. Can you predict the error? Please pause the program, predict the error, and then resume. OK, so I'm giving uh, a timeout for pausing. All right, so if you see in this program, you have defined add to take two parameters. Okay, that is declared, forward declared. You have defined add also to take two int parameters, but the call is taking three parameters or passing three parameters rather. So you have no add function which takes in three parameters. So if you try to look out for a match for an add of three parameters, integer type, which is not existing. So the compiler will give an error that add int, 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 not found. Okay, so that is the error here. Another uh, uh, problem, I guess this is pretty, uh, you know, it's logical and you can really get it. So I'll just skip this part and you can just go through it, understand uh, what is happening and I'm sure you'll be able to get it uh, easily for the error in this particular. Fragment, okay. Another one, I guess this also, these are some variations. You should be able to identify. This is a little tricky. If you see the different three in parameters, we're passing three in parameters, and we're defining three in parameters. Seems absolutely fine. I guess there is, you have to predict the output, right? So not necessarily every time it will be an error. In this case, it's actually absolutely right, and the answer is 12. Okay? So 